you know there's a stereotypical saying that when people want to learn a language a new language they are more inclined to learn the curse words the insults in that language at least for starters before they go on to learn the real deep stuff but i promise you i did not just sit down and decide look you know what let me teach you how to insult or curse people something happened that led to this video let me show you first after watching that video i couldn't help but doff my heart for the yoruba people again because once again they have proven their intelligence their ingenuity i could not help noticing the intelligence the creativity that goes into manufacturing insults in yoruba and as a language person of course it has to catch my attention so i decided you know what why not share with my followers and that is the essence of this video sorry oru tana as you know and i am your tutor on this channel ebu is the contracted form of ebibu that is ebibu is actually the full word the complete word but then we just shorten it to ebu and ebu means insult now don't confuse that with ekbe ekbe is swear or curse ebu on the other hand is insult so if you want to say someone insulted you you will say obumi now you can be more elaborate and say obumi lebu because the verb the the verb phrase would be bu ebu so but for ekwe what you would have is o she ekwe so the collocation is she ekwe ebu is bu ebu so we're establishing you know basic knowledge so that you know what is what now in yoruba we have several able and of course as with every language you continue to we continue to get creative we can manufacture just about anything on the snap of the moment there are different ways that we use to manufacture able i'm going to list them for you the first one is the use of simile simile of course is um, a literary term whereby you compare two things as in english you have as x as y or x is like y we have similar things in yoruba so you can have an able in form of simile where the person says it there be common or ori be panla so that is you're comparing someone's lips it with common um, pomo is cow skin. Um, ori ebi, ori pala. You're comparing someone's head with the head of pala fish. That is how you use simile to create ebu. The second one is the use of metaphor. Again, as in English, metaphor you know is direct comparison. So you take out the like or as or you know the 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 um, indirect comparison you have in simile. You use it direct comparison and say that that person is that thing so instead of saying it will be common you say it will take common that's your lips are commonish you get the gist or olori panla that is panla head you're no longer comparing the person directly now you're just going ahead to say that instead of your head looking like panla's head your head is actually panla's head so that is what that is how metaphor plays out in forming ebu. The third one is descriptive in nature. Quite similar to similar metaphor because of course mm, there is a bit of description. But this one is more elaborate and you know you look at something. You look at someone and then you fabricate words to describe how that person looks or is behaving or is talking or something depending on what you want to abuse them or insult them for you describe a whole thing and this is where we even get very creative so most of the able will be listing in this video will most likely be descriptive in nature or i will do explanations where necessary so that you know which is which of course like i said able in yoruba is unlimited and new ones keep coming up but for the sake of this video we're only going to take as much as time and space can permit us plus i don't want to be caught teaching you how to insult people <laughs>
The first one we're taking in this video is It is only right or fair that we launch the able lessons with what inspired the video in the first place so um Olopolo is brain and Olopolo is only Opolo that is someone who has a brain law in Lilo is twist for something to be twisted so when you have Olopolo Lilo it means that the person's brain is twisted someone with a twisted brain what would that give you don't stupid whatever you want to call it but i'm giving you the full meaning olopolilo is someone with a twisted brain the next one we're taking is ode ode in full is enitio de um there is something that is slack something that is dense that is loose so when you say ode enitio de that is someone who is slack who is dense or sharp yoruba will say oh te sharp rara that is you know you are not they're not sharp <laughs> pretty much an idiot really another one is opono that one is also common as common as ode you hear someone who say ode opono eribo shiri yeah so opono is enitio opono inu is inside and in context we also use it to mean um interesting you know inside the body Inu is also stomach. In this context, enitiopoinupo is to mix, to mix together, to model together. So enitiopoinu is someone with a modeled inside. You know, the inside is mixed together. What's a popa po? It's a ponu. So, bubweti, bubweti, fojupo. What's the, what's the dapo? Uh -huh. and it's that's also someone who's dense someone who is stupid they are just different words meaning the same thing just that the descriptions are different omugo i believe the root word or phrase for omugo would be omu ago ago means two different things it can be used in two different contexts the first one is um, someone who is foolish the other one is someone who is insolent, considered rude, who lacks courtesy. So when they say someone is omugo, omuago, mu is to drink. So when they say eniti omuago, that means a person has drank foolishness. Because omugo is mostly used to describe someone who is foolish. But if you want to say, if you want to say that somebody is insolent, they are being rude, they lack courtesy, you can just say ogo. We hardly say omugonies when you want to say that someone is rude, when you want to say someone is um, is uncautious. We would rather say ago or ogo. You say you're talking directly to the person and you want to tell the person that the person is rude. The person the person does not have manners, the person lacks manners. You will tell the person ogo. You can still talk to the person directly and say agonie. So you can either say ogo or you can say ago ago nie ogo this explanation is to help you establish the difference between how we use ago in the two different contexts omugo for someone who is foolish ago for someone who is rude and lacks manners oh yeah oh yeah is a metaphor of course and oh yeah in yoruba is a chameleon so we use Oya to say that the person is too forward. When you find someone irritatingly forward, they are always jumping ahead. Like, can you calm down? <laughs> you say Oya nie umbe. <laughs> That's how we usually say it. Oya nie umbe. So be is to leap forward. So umbe Oya nie. That is Oya. And there was one other one they used to say when I was a child. We used to say bebe to. I think that was a football player who used to play forward, I think. Yes, yeah, so it's all, you know, and then the ombe now coincides with bebe too. So it was just easy to mix that together and say, oh, yeah, ne, ombe, bebe too. So you just call everything together that way and insult whoever it is that you're finding too forward for your liking. This next one is two in one. 
because they are quite similar. Oloribu and Oninubibu. Ibu is something that is bad, something that spots. So Oloribu is someone with a spot and a bad head. Oninubibu, of course, I already explained what Inu is. So Oninubibu is someone whose inside is moldy, is, is bad, is spot. <sighs> the next on the list is Afo Hmm. This one is quite graphic. So Afo Fungbemu is an until for Ifu Bemu. Ifu is intestine. And when they say Ofonko, that is, you break something. So for Ifu, you break your intestine. And Wagbemu, that you now drank it up. <laughs> That's quite a lot. So Afo Fungbemu, in literal sense, is someone who you know, broke or destroyed their intestine and then gulped it down their throats. <sighs> That's someone who is, is, is such an idiot. You can't even help. That's an irredeemable, irredeemable case of idiocy. Next one is Olofofo. Olofofo is gossip. Therefore, Olofofo is someone who peddles gossips. Bebo and it's your bebo So they use this for someone who is always fishing out gossip. While Olofofo is someone who transmits gossips all around, bebo is someone who is always seeking out gossip. So the name came from, you know, back in the days, women would have shawl across their shoulder, over their shoulder, that. They can easily maybe tie on their head or their waist or something. It's just part of dressing. We call it ikbele. A babe room, someone who is a babe room, once they hear, ah, they just quickly carry their shawl, bam, put it here, drip it on the other shoulder, and off they have gone to check what, that, what is happening, wherever it is happening at. So that is why they call them babe room, just to describe, you know, the action, what they do when they want to go and get gist from wherever that action that singular action of mom mom what's a baby boy <laughs> what's in law that is baby boy next we have to do bole t o ju bo ele chook eyes inside house so uh, Toji Bole is someone who cannot sit still in their own house. They are always going from one person's house to the other, from one person's house to the other. Kilo Wakiri, Toji Bole, Joko Sile. My mother is there just one with children that a rile. She say she ko korole, she on tiny did that's the insect in your house. Is it stinging your boot socks that you cannot sit still in your own house? You just want to keep going from one house to the other. So that's a tojubole. Now, a nice way to say tojubole, there's a nice way to say it. And there's an insulting way to say it. Tojubole in a nice way is tojubole mobiok bebe. Tojubole mobiok bebe dun. That's tojubole mobiok bebe dun is someone who is always going from one house to the other. So much that they now know who's which house cooks the sweeter soup while the insulting one the very insulting one is tojubole eronuru so tojubole description with eronuru a metaphor joined together eronuru is nuru's good and well the idea is that nuru's good still was always going from one house to the other so you now compare the person tojubole with eronuru and join them together as one so one is Tojibole Mobio Begbeto and the other one is Tojibole Eronuru. <laughs> yeah, don't be a Tojibole. Olodo is Oniodo, Odo is zero. So Olodo is someone who is a dunce, um, a failure, someone who is unintelligent. Obu, Shio, Shio. It is one thing for someone to be called Obu. It is another thing to be called Obun Shio Shio. I need a breather. <laughs> Obun is a dirty person. But when someone says Obun Shio Shio, it's just that Shio Shio there is a way to describe how dirty 
the person is. It is similar to calling the person Elede. Elede is pig. But Elede even sounds mild in a way compared with Obunshiosho because again, it's not just Obunshiosho. It's the way they say it. Obunshiosho. Oribushiri. Odotibile. I've just let all of that out, out in the breast. I say, oh, that's Billy, boy, Bushiri, or Bushi, or Shio. A lady. So they just join everything together. That's a lot, really. So Bushi, is someone who who is irritatingly dirty. The Their dirtiness can make you puke. Yeah, that's that's how to describe Shio Shio in this context. Shio Shio is like something that is, um, something that is, um, like like muddy you know swampy kind of texture it's um oh, sure, sure. It's, it's just something that is so dirty that that will make you puke L let me just leave it as that because you you can't really i don't know what's the word i'm going to use to describe sure, sure that will help you capture how sure 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 is <laughs> Okay, last one guys, Wobia or Wombiliki. I don't know. I don't know how it came about Wombiliki or Wobia, but I know they use Wobia a lot to refer to someone who is gluttony. They can eat for Africa. That is Wobia. They are always eating, eating, eating. I want to do Kokoro. Komukolo. Bujubari Enwaje. And those are Wobia. They must eat everything that they see. Nothing pass me by. Pass me not to Jen to save you. Uh, those, are, those are the people we call Wobia or Wobiliki. All right, guys. I really have to stop here now because I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to talk about this evil. Yeah. And I really want you to know that this video does not intend to teach you how to go insult people. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it was just me noticing the creativity that goes into manufacturing Abel and I decided to share with you. I hope you have learned one or two, if I can say so. And you can tell when someone is insulting you. You know how some people can be because they think you don't know the language. Then they decide to insult you in that language because of course you won't understand. So now you can tell when someone is saying something derogatory about you in public at least to get an idea i wish i could say like share <laughs> but definitely do subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in another video take care of yourself